In the kitchen now with Chef Scott Hallbach from the Kensington Grill in Appleton. You're looking for a newer place to eat. Um, check them out. All sorts of wonderful food. Uh, dinner six days a week, correct? Six days, yep. And, uh, Monday real, through Saturday. Real easy to find. Right off 441. Uh, right across from Best Buy and Home Depot. On Kensington there. Yes. So it's, it's really a great place. Unique, different things on the menu. And one of the things I was excited about is I love, love, love crab cakes. And they're kind of a hassle to make at home. So you guys always have those on the menu, correct? Yes. Sell a lot of them, I bet, huh? We do. We yeah. Do. All right, show us how to make them. Okay. What we do, um, first we'll start with our mix that we're going to go on top of it. Um, take one egg. Okay. And whip it up. To that, we're going to add uh, one cup of mayonnaise, some nice heavy duty mayo. And I can help mix here. Okay. I'll be your sous chef. Okay. We're going to take uh, a couple tablespoons of whole grain mustard. Mm, that's some great flavor. And then we have a spice mix here of celery seed, Old Bay seasoning, uh, cumin, and black pepper. Mm. Okay. So All this right. is kind of the dressing. And that's going to be our wet together. batter that okay. we're going to bind together. All right. Um, for the base fit, what we do is we take one pound of uh, crab claw meat. Okay. And we do one pound of uh, back fin lump meat. Okay. Yum. So lots of crab. No skipping lots on the crab. crab in no. this recipe. So you just kind of want to gently break that up with your hands. You don't want to get too crazy because otherwise you'll lose that nice lump of the, sure. of the meat in there. Sure. Um, to that, we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Ooh. Just a little bit of panko breadcrumbs. We need something to bind, but not overly as a filler. Okay. A little bit of diced red pepper. There's some great color nice there. Nice color in there. A little bit of chives, again, for a little bit of color and nice little flavor mm -hmm. in there. Um, and then a little bit of shallot. You okay. can use red onion at home if you'd like. But okay. Shallot has um, that light kind of onion A little bit flavor. of a lighter I'm gonna flavor to it. Heat up the pan over here because um, we've got some. Now, a question for you. And you at the restaurant, it seems like when you make crab cakes right away, they need to kind of set up, um, you know, if you fry them right away, they'll tend to fall apart on you. Yep. What we do is we'll have this, you know, I would suggest for dinner at home at least an hour. Okay. Um, in between doing this, putting it in the fridge and kind of let everything come together and bind. Um, but we generally, you know, have it and we'll do it one day and then form them the next day when it has a chance to really... Um, harden up a little Got bit it. So for if you're you. having these for a dinner party, or you know, you can certainly get them done a couple ha days ahead and let them s set up and yep, and they're going to be fine. Patty up in the refrigerator. Yeah. Yep. So once we have our, our dry ingredients kind of tossed together lightly, what we're going to do is we'll add our wet uh, mixture that's going to kind of bind everything together here. Okay. And then kind of like a meatloaf, there's no better way to get in there and just use yep, your hands. Yep. Just get huh? in there and use your hands. But again. You know, just make sure you're gentle with it, and okay. that's kind of why you use your hands. You don't want a metal utensil in there that's going to kind of break it up a little more okay. than what you want. Um, you don't want to, you know, you so want really, to know it's crab, basically. Yep. Yeah. So you look at, you know, you still have got the nice big chunks of sure. crab in there. Sure. It's enough to hold it together, but it's not going to be overly um, wet or dry. You know, you kind of want that happy medium. Absolutely. Um, so make your patties, whatever size you want them. Get them into the refrigerator. And then yep. uh, what kind of oil do you like to use when it comes to frying um, them? What we do is we have a 80-20 a blend of olive oil and canola oil. Okay. So, um, you, so you get a little flavor of the olive oil, but you also get uh, not an overpowering olive oil flavor, which is, is nice. You can do that at home. So I know what you're saying. Olive oil sometimes will take on if the taste. If you cook too much, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, you kind of lose the flavor yeah. if it's a delicate so food. So maybe mix the two together. Now, while these are frying, doing their thing, and these are pretty quick, right? I mean, we just want to get them. Yep. You kind of want to get them a little bit of color on one side. Again, that's one of the things. We get a little color. We finish them in the oven, but you can just as easily finish them right in the pan. Sure, sure. Um, just let them cook all the way through. So, so this is course number one in our big night out dinner, which is coming up uh, in just, uh, a, well, less than two weeks. June 18th, Monday, June 18th. Call today for reservations. So we're starting with yep. these wonderful crab cakes, which I'm really excited about. Second course, salad. Yep, again, it's our, our spinach and arugula salad, with a nice white grape vinaigrette, um, some toasted peaches, dried blueberries, manchego, a little bit of pecan on there. Yum. Um, just a nice summer summer flavors going on there. We wanted to showcase something that you guys do that you know not many places do, and that's pan-seared whitefish. Yep, and what that is, again, is it's just served on a bed of, uh, of sautéed spinach, caramelized onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, all nice seasonal flavors, and finished with a red pepper and tomato coulis. We didn't so. want to leave out the meat and potato people, me included, so we <laughs> hope you're going to be hungry this night. We're talking a lot <laughs> of great food. Uh, we're moving on to a steak course. Yep, and that is our uh, Australian grass-fed skirt steak, um, and that's going to be with the garlic mashed potatoes. A uh, nice demi glace and some asparagus. Yum. And last but not least, I know you guys are known for your desserts 
but specifically you do a lot of different creme brulees. Yep, and so for the one for that night, we're going to do a chocolate creme brulee Ooh. to finish it off, finish the whole night off with a little bit of chocolate in there. Yeah, because so. I begged for it. I said, <laughs> we got to eat chocolate, we have to. Uh, um, and then um, the wonderful thing about this is that we're going to be pairing these courses, many of them, with wine. So $50 per person, you, you, yeah, you can't, five courses, you can't three beat wines, that. Good um, deal. Yeah, really good deal. Call today to make your reservations. Come with your girlfriends, uh, a special someone, or come yourself, your coworkers. The number to call is 920-993-9860. Or go to our website, box11online.com. Click on the Living tab, and you'll see Big Night Out right there. Uh, but this one's going to fill up quickly, so please call ahead and make your reservations. How are crab cakes looking? They're looking good. They, they smell amazing. Color. Let's take um, them to the plate. So what we do, um, for our garnish, what we're doing right now, um, the crab cakes always stay on the menu. What we do change when we change the menu is our garnish. Okay. Um, so what we have is some radish sprouts for a little pepperiness. Um, a little bit of uh, sun choke in there for just a little bit of texture. Okay. Again, some Door County cherries that we get from Cherry Lands Best just down the road from us. Some um, balsamic, cherry balsamic. What we're going to do is toss that, put that in the middle. Crab cakes on top. And crab cakes, yep, right on top of that. Thanks, Chef. Really appreciate it. We'll see you You're in welcome. a couple Thank weeks. You. Thank All you. Right. We'll be